Hello everyone, Sunset Duck 2, welcome to another mod pack overview, this time on Patchwork MC Test Pack. A mod pack that simply is based around the Patchwork MC sort of project, which is basically the way for you to make Forge mods work on fabric so that you can have Forge and Fabric mods technically work alongside each other. It's just that they're Forge mods patched as Fabric mods to work in the fabric environment, rather than like a, yeah, they just easily work sort of way that Light Loader and Forge would in all the versions like 112 and before. Um, so yeah, uh, this is only for 114.4 at the moment, and uh, as you can see there is a fair amount of Forge versions that are now supported, um, so some that were like the ring mods, which are now available for 115 and higher for fabric, are not 114 fabric compatible, but now they are, because um, Forge mods now fabric support, basically via patchwork. Um, but yeah, now this is a very particular type of way to go about it, because patchwork's not on just Forge, probably for obvious reasons, um, that I could assume, or it's just probably tricky to count it, so yeah. But uh, if you're familiar with patchwork, then uh, you'll probably know what you're doing, but if you're not like I am, or I've heard of it, but I don't really know exactly how it works, then uh, I'd say a mod pack like this is useful. Um, or just kind of simplifies things, I guess, maybe, besides that it probably is maybe the same process, um, and I just never do this whole time. Either way, though. Um, so, what you want to do is pretty much download the patchwork patcher, from this link here, so just download that, you don't need to care about the source code, that's not important. So you download that, and then that's step one done, and that'll obviously go to your downloads and such. From there, um, after you've downloaded the mod pack, you simply move the Forge mods listed from any of these here. So obviously there's a mix of Fabric and Forge mods in here, so you want to specifically focus on the Forge ones, not the Fabric ones. Um, I've got a few, for example, I'm wanting to test with, and uh, I've got some under other, which probably counts fabric mods and a few forge ones I haven't moved out yet. As you can see, some of the ring mods are still in here, but I don't know if I want to try a select few. Um, so you move them out into a forge underscore mods folder um, of the ones that you do want to use, of course, or you just carry over all of them. Um, it's probably intended for you to do all of them, but I'm just going to do select few just in case because I don't know the actual results and just to test and they'll like say one item and a few blocks or biome changes so yeah um next you double click the patchwork patcher jar which is where is it where is it uh here which if you double click will come up with a window or menu or more thing and we'll come up with this here so you've got the Minecraft version to select, which patchworks only for 1.14.4 as they're making this video, and it's been most likely for most of its development besides being constructed, 1.14.4. It may probably update to later ones at some point, but at the same time, 1.14.4 is the starting point for this currently. Uh, then from there, it'll also generate an input and output folder. I think right after you select the thing, not just from patching, uh, but obviously it'll still count towards that. Um, you've got the sort of things it's doing on the side, you've got other aspects you can select. I don't know enough about these. Um, I don't know if you actually need to count the yarn version at all. My guess is for like, this is for developers who primarily know a lot more about yarn than users. But uh, yeah, so it's for development purposes, um, ignoring cited events I assume, when it outputs there or something, or a tiny MCP file. I wish I assume it's for like a tiny version of the Minecraft Creator Pack, probably. Uh, I don't know. Uh, from there, you just go patch. I don't think it's going to do anything different. Yep, for me, it's already done it. Um, obviously, it's just downloading a bunch of stuff, um, setting up the 114.4 Minecraft environment and everything. That's pretty much it. So, that's probably as much as you really need to know for that. It'd be a much longer process than mine where it did it just quick there because I've already got everything. And it's just checked. Yep, you've got it. Um, so it'll do probably the input output folder I assume, as well as this data one, which is simply the client and so on, mappings and etc. And uh, this temp folder, which I don't know enough about, but is for probably some other purpose, I assume. Um, so yeah, I don't think you need this anymore, but I'm just going to put this on here. 
And then from there, apparently it says select your Forge Mods folder as input folder. Uh, as output folder, you choose the mods folder of this mod pack. Right. Okay, so select your Forge Mods folder as that. So I'm assuming that was only just for separating them, not as an actual thing you needed to run as, maybe? Um, or it probably is. Um, so select your mods folder as the input folder. Alright, do we need to actually... I mean, this is technically all inside it, so... Mm. Um, this is the thing, is it's not probably that complex once you get used to it, but I have no idea what I'm doing, so yeah. Uh, where did they go? Oh, they're taking real combined, okay. Um, so we'll put these in input, and what's output? Uh, you can choose the mods of this mod pack, so that's basically any of the fabric ones, so we'll probably just like do this or something, I don't know. So output, so your fabric mods go in output. Your forge mods go in input. I assume that's what we're doing here. Hopefully. Um, something else I can test. Uh, I don't know. Um, do you want to try maybe tech reborn? Yeah, why not? I don't know. We'll just test a few things, like blocks and other bits and pieces. Uh, select that. Now click patch. The result should look like this. Oh, do it after. Whoops. Um, my actual attempt then. Um, well, that's the thing is, you just get the mappings, right? So now select that and that. Oh, okay. Wait. Yeah, because it generates. Hang on, no. Yeah, now click the jar file. Oh, yeah, because it gets the input output folders first, then it does this. Alright, so we'll just. Uh, it shouldn't technically matter, but we'll just remove these just in case. Um, we'll do this again, just so one can see, as well as it actually acknowledging the folders here. Um, so we'll patch again. Create data, we'll get its mappings and everything else in there. Temp folder. Got its client aspects, blah blah blah, and we'll just wait it out. It's gonna be map such and such there. After downloading the client, let me package everything. Oop, okay, it's doing a lot more than it was before. So it's now acknowledged these other mods as well, which it didn't do last time. So my guess is it's actually acknowledged a few other bits and pieces. Cool. So it knows exactly in that what forge mods to consider, which is biomes of plenty, I mean the ender chest, and that. Basically, it because I think, yeah, the mix and bootstrap doesn't really count, I think, much. Um, but yeah, so from there, we just uh, have to download the API, so that's fine. Um, right, so let's do that. Yes, get you and put you where? Uh, let's see, and put in the mods folder, right, so that's that. Uh, we probably don't need this anymore, so just move that out, so it doesn't conflict or something. Um, do this, and what we got now? That's it, now just launch it. Alright, we'll see what happens. I'm not expecting success first time around, but, uh, but yeah, it's very particular on purpose, because of the way things are, um, with how patchwork does things, as well as just, I guess, because it's also not in Curse Forge, so... Yeah, I'm also using this in MultiMC, not in uh, Twitch, so you'll get pretty much the same results, though. Um, yeah. Or it's probably that it's not a fabric environment, it's a forge environment, I guess. So fabric on forge, not forge on fabric, I think, somewhere. I don't know. You'll, you'll clearly find out. Um, it's constructing two mods, apparently. So, let's see. Hopefully it doesn't just do a forge instance and ignores everything. I hope. Um, either way, the instructions and where you can find all this stuff, obviously I'll put in the description, even if I don't successfully accomplish this, because just to demonstrate that it's possible. Yeah, that's a... Ah, okay, so I don't actually need that. Do I need the output folder? That might be why. Uh, that's my other one, so we'll just do that. Um, we'll see. I don't know. What's under images? Is that just so much else? Just that, just showing that it's working. So what's it actually supposed to say? Jump loader and such. 
doesn't say we need jump loader, so I don't know if that means that anything is necessary there. I have absolutely no idea, but again, we've got Tech Reborn, we've got a few rings and a few other things, so clearly it works, obviously, with the Hero, because they tested it enough, they used it prior. Um, but yeah, so jump loader. Oh, wait, no, because it's probably in Twitch, so getting things don't seem work that way, that makes sense. With multi MC, I don't need to really consider that, but otherwise, you know. So we've got Forge, and that is it. Ah, now what happens if I just load up a world? Is it going to count anything fabric related or not either? Um, I clearly think I stuffed up somewhere, which isn't surprising. I'm no expert at this. I don't even have that much experience with it because I didn't even know how to start it the first time I attempted to try and learn it. So, yeah. Well, this is probably unsuccessful, it gives you an idea of what to expect. Um, with needing a few of these to um uh, well, what steps to go through at least and then just whatever else you can probably fill in the gaps of where i missed some things so yeah so we'd go you know come on i get it go away um, i just need to change this and now we can see better so we got in here nothing Probably just basically the forge instance. That is it. Correct. So we got no like grinder. We got no ring. We got nothing. Yeah. Well, either way, uh, pretty much just the thing is just to show the tutorialish aspects or step-by-step -step process, um, rather than the whole end results. Because obviously, it, it kind of depends, and I'm no expert here. But yeah. Um. I'd say try the same, and if you get success, then congrats. Um, I assume I just messed up somewhere. Um, so that's mods output, so it's basically input injection. There's four versions, rather versions, I don't know. Maybe I do need jump loader then. I'll actually get jump loader and see what happens. Do I actually need it for it to maybe work something out as well? Even though it's not mentioned? No idea. Um, we'll just try again. Let's see. Because I do not know what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing all right? So I'm just gonna load this up and then we'll end it here. Because I've got no clue otherwise. This is just an experiment, pretty much. Um, that is that. Yep, I need that. So we'll see how these things go here. No, I didn't see how any mods it detected, so I'm gonna just expect some results, I guess. It's probably not gonna be successful. If we see however many mods listed, we'll know. So, yeah. Two mods, yeah, so I wasn't successful that time. Oh well. Either way, the actual installation process is the most important. The rest is uh, just going to be successful to get from there. Thanks so much for watching, though, and goodbye.